And we're back at 845 with a very special edition of Today Food. That is because our buddy and former colleague here, Sama Dada, yeah. is here. Yeah. Hey. Oh, look at that. Sama. They always take out the old pictures. <laughs> we're really excited for Sama because her new book, Dada Eats, Love to Cook It, it's out today. There it is, your first look. And Sama's joining us live from our brand new Today All Day Kitchen. She's uh, filming her streaming series there. That series is called Hashtag Cooking. Sama Dada, welcome Hi, home. Sama. Hi, Sama. Guys. Sama. Congratulations. Thank you, so thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm literally so excited to be here, and I cannot believe it is the day. You I'm know here what? with you guys. For people at home, they should know. I mean, you used to bake little treats. You had your little test kitchen at home. So now to see you having your first cookbook, it's almost like I feel like a proud mommy. How does it feel? It is surreal. It is surreal. And like you said, Chanel, like you guys were my first taste testers, like my <laughs> original taste testers. So thank you truly for your support and love and for trying my baked goods at like four in the morning oh, like yes. when I brought them in. <laughs> like delicious. the best taste testers ever. Yeah. Um, but it feels amazing and it feels so cool to have all of my recipes and stories in one place and I've been working on it for years so it's just it's really it's indescribable honestly yeah. so Sama here's yeah. the thing I mean you've got the book out today and oh by the way you've got this brand new show on uh, today all day <laughs> on the streaming channel the show's called hashtag cooking what what can folks expect to see when they tune in what kind of recipes are you going to be passing along there is a lot going on today, Craig. I'm so excited about it. And basically my whole philosophy on food and cooking is just to teach people how to do more with less, you know, less ingredients, less time. All of my recipes are very healthy, but still indulgent. And you won't feel like you're missing out on the comfort or satiety that you have, you know, with anything. Sure. Um, and so I want to teach people, you know, how to like look at a nearly perished banana on their counter and whip up some muffin tops or a ripe avocado and not put it on toast and instead make a really creamy pasta sauce. So mm -hmm. a lot of deliciousness for sure. Well, looking forward to it. So, Sama, you're going to start off with what you call your dream dessert. It combines a, a whole lot of good stuff. Yes, I'm going to show you guys how to make my salted peanut butter caramel bars. Yum. Um, peanut butter has truly gotten me through a lot in my life. It's been a <laughs> huge emotional support. So I thought I would give it the credit it deserves in these peanut butter caramel bars. So we're going to start with the first layer, which is my shortbread crust. Super easy to make, really minimal ingredients, kind of like all of my recipes. So I'm starting with some honey in a bowl. I want it to be just lightly sweet. Then I'm going to add some coconut oil right into there and whisk it until it's nice and smooth. It's kind of gonna serve a bit as like a butter replacement sort of, that's what coconut oil will do in this recipe, it's really nice. And then once I get this nice and smooth, I'm gonna add in my almond flour and my coconut flour. These are two of my favorite things to bake with because almond flour is really dense, coconut flour is really light, so they really work well to kind of give us this like so gorgeous this cookie -like free, consistency. Sama? This is gluten-free, yes. So that's the thing with all these recipes, right? You know, they do happen to be gluten-free or dairy-free, but not because I'm trying to make it that way, just by nature of the ingredients that I like to cook and bake with. And what you proved that's to me is that there. you can be extremely healthy and extremely delicious. I think that's where you pull yeah. this all in because it's so good. Good point. Yeah. Totally. You know, I, I literally cannot live my life without cookies. Like, it's just a fact. <laughs> but, you know, I also want to be healthy and I'm mindful of what I eat and I want to make sure that I'm paring down ingredient lists to make things super healthy and minimal. But, yeah, exactly. You don't want to feel like you're missing out on the comfort. But anyway, so here I am. I'm Wait, Sam, mixing everything together. What are you making right there? This is the crust. Oh, the crust. Okay. Yes, this is the shortbread crust. So I'm just mixing this until it's nice and well incorporated. And then I'm going to transfer it into my pan. It's going to look a little something like this. Then I'm just going to press it down, making sure that it's evenly distributed throughout the pan, just like this. Okay. And then once I do that, I'm going to bake it off for 10 minutes, mm. just until it's nice and golden brown. It's going to look like this when it's done. But we want it to be completely cool, and then while it is cooling, we can work on our caramel. Most mm. important part. How do you do that? So here's the best part about this caramel, Chanel, is that you can make it in a blender. So if anyone was, like, considering a smoothie today, like, maybe just reconsider your life choices and make this recipe Reconsider instead, you know? your life choices. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm starting with some peanut butter in my blender, and of course, if you're allergic to peanut butter, if you don't like peanut butter, I won't judge you. That's totally fine. <laughs> you can use your favorite nut butter here, um, and I want it to be super accessible and inclusive for everybody. So, got my peanut butter here. Now, I'm just going to add some dates. I love dates. Not the romantic kind, the medjool kind. These are amazing. 
super sweet. It's got these nice caramel undertones. I'm just gonna add them all in here. It's gonna be a really great addition for our caramel. I'm gonna add some melted and cooled coconut oil straight into my blender. You should see how we're staring at your blender, Sama. Like, I don't even know what to say. I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. You just know, Chanel, yeah, you just I do. know. A little coconut sugar for sweetness. It's gonna complement the dates really nicely. A little pinch of salt, and then some almond milk to help everything blend together. Like that. Mm. Again, super easy. Like very few ingredients in here to a really create a really delicious result. So I'm just gonna blend this until it's nice and smooth. Okay. Just imagine that's completely blended. It's gonna look a little something like this. Oh. Super smooth, very luscious, yeah. very velvety. You just put that across my, the top? Yes, so my struggle here is really getting everything to the pan because it tastes so good on its own. But yes, I've got my cooled crust here and I'm just gonna put my caramel straight onto my crust. Yum. Like that. And I'm gonna spread it out until it's nice and evenly distributed throughout the pan. Okay. And then, what we're gonna do is once I get it there, I'm just gonna let this hang out in the freezer for about 30 minutes. We want it to kind of firm up that caramel okay. and prepare it for our last layer, which is chocolate. Uh, yeah. You gotta go on with the chocolate. <laughs> just like chocolate I mean, chips? I literally can't. Yes, so I've got this all spread out. Now I've got my chocolate chips. Really easy way to melt chocolate is just in the microwave in increments. I'm gonna add a little coconut oil. I just put this in the microwave, 10 to 15 second increments, stirring throughout just so it's nice and smooth and glossy. And it's gonna look like this. Yummy. It's How really do you get beautiful. them out of the pan, Sada, Dada, without breaking the yes. bars up? So, Al, here's the best thing. When I prepare my pan, I create these really nice parchment paper flaps. Oh, there you go. This is really great because it gives you that easy removal because oh, yeah. the Pro worst tip. thing about this, yeah, if it was stuck in the pan, like, that's so sad. Like, I don't want that, that for us. That would be sad. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. So, yeah. Really so sad. sad, right? <laughs> so, so you might be wondering, like, <laughs> why am I adding chocolate? And I just have to say, why not? And we can. deserve it. So what's <laughs> the final thing yeah, look exactly. like? We have to go. Yeah, show us, show us, yes. the, show okay, us the Okay, so adding product. all of the chocolate in, and then we're going to freeze it for an hour and it's Boom. gonna end up looking yeah. like this. There you go. So Add a little flaky salt on top if you oh, want a little extra cool. to there bring out go. that sweetness. Summer, we didn't um, bake anything. So thank no. you. Thank you. Exactly. Yummy. We are happy, on the book. hungry, and proud. Thank you. And Indian Thanks. cooking is Thank also you. her specialty, so on her new show, you'll see it all. Can't wait to yes. see that show. Uh, again, some doll. exactly. Mm -hmm. The first exactly. episode of Hashtag Cooking starts today at 11 a.m. on Today All Day. Mm -hmm. Check it out, today.com slash all day or over on Peacock. That's our streaming channel. Peacock. Yes, and to get a copy of Dada Eats, love to cook it, click over to today.com slash shop. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.